Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you a new little toy I recently picked up. It's about 12 bucks on Amazon. It's called a, uh, photo, it's, it's, the name of the item is a Photo Deox. Um, what it is is a macro extension. So it connects to your camera and then your lens connects to it. And, uh, and you're able to get really, really up close macro shots. Um, see if you guys, see if we can get that focused in there. So you have a couple different ranges here. If you notice, you can do 28 millimeters, seven millimeters, and I think a 14 millimeter. So they'll actually, these pieces physically screw off and you can lengthen them or shorten them as needed. So it's kind of cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw it on the camera and uh, we're gonna snap some, some shots of the ground, some dandelions down here. So again, it's just, this snaps right in here, if you guys can see that. So that links in. Then this goes right in. So now your lens is like, <laughs> it's kind of long. Um, the only thing that, that kind of sucks about it is, is that it, I believe they make electronic ones, but this isn't. This is like, again, like $12 off Amazon. So again, for 12 bucks, it's a great, great item. Um, but you don't have any aperture. So you're working with ISO and shutter only. Um, so if I want to snap a shot of, let's say, this dandelion down here, now to focus, you're gonna actually use your focus rings and you're gonna use your zoom as well to get your focus just right. So I'm gonna zoom as close in as I can, focus in on it. And again, you know, you really got to pay attention to your focus because it's it will go out of focus so easy. Like your focus points are really hard to get. And let's brighten it up a tad bit. Again, if you notice, I got to get really close, but it, it just, it's the macro on it is amazing because you can just get such close shots with this. And the quality is not horrible. But it, it takes quite a bit to get the focus just right. And I would almost use a tripod because you're especially if you're using a, slow, a, a low shutter speed, it's really hard to keep your hand super steady for the shot. See, like that was actually kind of blurry. So, let's see if I can get it right here. There we go. So, uh, and I'll pop up, if you guys have seen on the screen, I popped up the dandelion right there. So, but mainly what this allows you to do is do super macro type stuff. So if you really need to get something really, really close, uh, let's see, we could snap a shot of the Canon, Canon logo up here. Yes, you gotta get pretty close to the item though. So I might might get a little too close to the lens, so you guys you guys hold on with me. Get a little bit closer here. But if you guys notice that shot, I mean, it almost looks like that's all I was taking was the Canon logo, and it's a really small little tiny logo. As you guys can see, I literally just took a picture of this right here on the top of the Canon with this. So anybody that likes macro, um, the quality of the shots are decent. I don't know if you'd be able to use it professionally. Um, I do believe they make better ones on the market. Um, and again, you can make your extension shorter or longer. Um, I'd love to throw this on a 7200. It'd be pretty, pretty fun to uh, mess around with it. So again, to focus though, you need to use your zoom and your focus rings. Um, at first I thought you'd just use your focus rings, but you use both and that to adjust the proper focus. So anyways, it's a fun little $12 item. Check it out on Amazon. It's called a Photo Deox. Um, it's spelled F-O-T-O-D-I-O-X. Um, I'll put a link down in the description bar. So anybody that is interested in getting one, um, you can just click on the link down in the description bar and check it out for yourself. 
Again, it's really cheap and it's a lot of fun. I don't do a lot of macro, but I mean, for $12, why not mess around and get, get to know how to use macro a little bit better? So uh, I, I guess one thing I didn't even think about mentioning is that this can be used for, uh, for video as well. It's not just a photography tool. Uh, I thought I would actually, I'm gonna shoot some video right now of like the grass. Now it's really, again, it's really hard. So it's something that, again, you probably wanna have a tripod. And if you're doing something like up close, say like um, a penny and like a quarter, um, that would be great. You know, you could you could focus the penny out and go to the quarter, and I mean, it would be just super tight. Um, so I'm just going to show you. We're going to turn turn the lens on, and it's going to say ensure lens is attached. Press the uh, mainly you're just going to press press the camera button up here in the far upper right corner that has a little red dot. Pretty much the button you you push when you do recording. Um, and let me let me release this camera. And again, it's going to be really shaky unless you're probably using a tripod. But let me. And you have no aperture, so. And let's record some. But as you can see, you can get really close with the grass. And as you can see, it's focusing in and out. So this is great for any type of really tight, super tight shots that you may be doing like for a commercial or something like that. We'll do a little bit more. But you can see how close to that blade of grass. And the closer you get, kind of the better clarity it gets in a manner of speaking. And but you gotta be pretty close. So I pretty much zoom my lens all the way out. I'm pretty close to the anyways. <laughs> Before I ended my last video, I just thought I would show you guys that. So anybody out there...